G'day, I'm Dave TTC, and this is Dave's Cave. In this week's episode, we're going to take a look at DIY. Yes, do it yourself. Additions, alterations, renovations, things that you might like to do around your home. This is something that provides a great opportunity if you happen to be a homeschooler or into home education, something where you can include your children. But if you don't have children, well, DIY is something of interest to many people. So by having a look at some of the projects that I've done in the past, you may get an idea of some of the things that you might like to try yourself. This will be a very general episode and down the track, we'll spend time looking specifically at things such as hanging a door, plastering, chip rock, patching holes, and other things around the home. If your renovations or the work you do to your home become a little more extensive, it's inevitable that it's going to involve plastering, whether that's just one room or becomes a large section of the house. Moving on to another project that I worked on, we can see that the wall frames were made in a shed and bought on site where we put the subfloor in place already. At the back of the extension was a decking area. Once the walls were up, the timber floor goes down to match the existing. Then in the old section, the ceiling needs to come down for a new one to go in. One thing that I like to make sure of if I'm doing an extension or renovation for someone else or my own job is to try to do everything I can to blend the new and the old so that you cannot see the transition. With a little bit of decking, things can look so much better. We mentioned earlier about including the children. Well, this is something that can be done with many jobs, such as this sandpit, before and after, and along the way, the kids are able to help. Whether it's concreting or painting, there's often a time that your children can help. Another job I had, which was a bit obscure, was actually in a dance studio, putting up some uh, poles for pole dancing. Outdoor areas often benefit from a bit of attention, be it new concreting, a carport or veranda. Inside the house, a major area for many people is the bathroom. These can look quite dated and old in no time. So to be able to pull it apart and start again can bring much satisfaction and give a necessary facelift. And with good choice of fixtures and fittings, you'll have a nice looking room. You may note through some of these latter projects that I love the use of my Galaxy Note. To be able to draw on a picture, dimensions and Ideas can be very helpful for future reference, as was the case with these gates, which my daughter was able to assist me installing and putting in place. Sometimes she's just as content to play in the packaging as she is to help. Another friend wanted a cat run, so we took some pictures of where it was going to be and drew a sketch of what we had in mind. Once satisfied, it was a case of bringing it to fruition, bringing the vision to reality. Sometimes there are nasty surprises in the form of little white ants. This staircase in my opinion looked good both before and after. The client had someone else start the work and as they were unable to complete it I was able to carry on and in this case it turned out to be quicker and more effective to take sections apart where possible and remachine them and assemble again. Personally, I'm not a fan of steel construction, but it does have a place and it's very unlikely to come under attack of termites. Another job I worked on was a very extensive job, both inside and out. On the outside, it was somewhat of an eyesore to start with, but with a lot of time and effort, with alterations and additions, and a little bit of render, it was like a new home. On the inside too, it needed attention.
Another common job to be done is that of the kitchen. This is something that many people can do if they put some time and effort into having a go. And one of my favourite jobs was this pergola. You'll note that both the rafters and beams are flush top and bottom. On a parting note, I encourage you once again to like and subscribe. And if there's something you'd like to see, please tell me in the comments below.